Fernando, great to be here at Zaya um, in Vitoria in Spain. Now, we're going to find out a lot in this interview about the company, the history, the machines you make, why people select them. So lots to uh, digest. Start by introducing yourself, if that's okay. Can you tell us who you are and what your role is here at Zaya? Yeah. My name is Fernando Lozena. I'm the general manager of company Thayer um, Machine Tools here in Vitoria, northern Spain. I have worked for more than 30 years in machine tool industry, so I have a good experience on it. And we, we, this is a family-owned company. Let's find out a little bit about the company. Yes. And when, when was it founded? And, and, and talk to us a little bit about the history. Yeah. Uh, it was founded here in this, exactly this location in 1956. Since then, we have developed, developed the company with different new halls and so, but we're exactly in the same location that it was founded. Uh, the third generation now is working in the company, the, still the second generation is, is, is part of the... So it's a family-owned business working for more than 65 years. Um, you've got about 150 people you employ Yeah, more than here, that, right? because if we take into account uh, people working in our own delegations in China, Italy and Brazil, uh, then we are arriving to more than 170 people. And is this the only place, I mean, it's a 20,000 square meter facility that you have here, is this the only place you manufacture around the world or do, do you do any manufacturing anywhere else? Well, this is a very good question because um, this is one of the key factors that we believe that uh, we have as, a, as an advantage. We are producing everything here, but we have a total co control, monitor the whole process because we are designing in these facilities, we are machining, we have a, a, a division for machining our own pieces that compounds later the machine tool that we are selling. Um, we have the assembly process, we, we carry out the service also here. We do have uh, grinding technologies available here. We produce our own heads, we design and produce here also here. Uh, the cast iron that is part of our machine tools is produced locally in less than 60 kilometers from here. Um, so, basically, apart from the CNC's and, the, and some commercial products that we buy usually from uh, Germany or Italy, um, all the rest of components, and we have a net of suppliers that are giving us um, all locally. Okay, now let's look at the machinery itself. Maybe you could describe, imagine somebody's never even heard of Zaya, which I'm, I'm sure they have, but yep. we've got a huge machine behind us here, but how big is the range? Talk us, to us about the okay, difference. Okay, I will try to explain. Uh, basically, Sayer is producing a high-quality and state-of-the-art milling machine, okay? Um, I think we have a good name and a fantastic reputation for doing so. Um, we, basically, we have two main products. Both are milling machine. With, uh, one is the horizontal ram and the second one is the vertical ram. This one, for instance, is the vertical ram machine. Um, starting with the horizontal ram, let's say that usually it's, less, uh, uh, it's smaller. Than the, than the vertical ram, but not necessarily. Sometimes it's, it's the opposite. We start with the bed type milling machine, horizontal ram, in which the table is moving. And we start with one meter up to five meters on this range. This is the maximum table that we can make in the moving table uh, area. In the moving column, we start in three meters and we have no limit. We can make machines with 60 meters, 80 meters, no limitation. Um, which are the main difference between both? When to apply one or the other? Because in some range, uh, they have a crossover, you know? So, um, basically, uh, companies that are looking for a slightly more precision, we, we will recommend the bed type milling machine, the moving table. Uh, while, if, if they have problems with space, uh, and so, moving column machine is occupying less space in their plant. So, there are advantages and disadvantages between both, but basically these are the main advantages and disadvantages of any of them. Okay, that's really um, fascinating and interesting. Yes. I mean, is this is what we have behind us here. Maybe describe the size of yeah. this one. And is this one of the biggest that you make or have made? This is close to be one of the biggest. And we are assembling here in our shop only part of it. Uh, the rest in this moment is under assembly in the final destination of the machine, which is Italy. Uh, Italy is one of our main markets. We have a lot of good customers over there. Today we have a customer here coming from Italy, from Milan, uh, to uh, receive one of the machines, the pre-acceptance of one of the machines. And this, this machine that we have behind us is a 20 meter machine, six and a half meters between columns. So this gives you the op opportunity to think which is the size of the workpiece that you can machine, that you can handle between the columns. 
and with a maximum height for the piece of four meters. So this gives you an impression that in this machine you can you can carry out machining work for pieces that can weigh easily 500 tons without any problem. Or in this kind of long machines, you can, you can work in pendular in a way that you can work in one side and then in the other side you can put a second piece while the, the first one is being carried out, you know, without losing time between the chains of setup. Okay, now your machines, I'm going to talk about the head technology in a minute, but before yes. we get to that, the actual structure of the machine, we walk around here, we see the machines going together. There's some fascinating points that you've um, illustrated over the last yep. day or two to me. If you could reiterate some of those to our audience that are really um, potentially unique about what Zaya do in the construction, the columns, the beds and all the rest. Of it. Yeah. Basically, um, we are using clear technologies that for us are key. Um, we, all our products are made in cast iron. Uh, why cast iron? Cast iron is a little bit more complex to produce, a little bit more expensive than other materials that are available in the market, but gives you clearly dampening properties that are not given by other materials. So, when we speak about chatter, when we speak about vibrations, the, the cast iron components are clearly having an advantage against other materials. Second, the type of guides that we are using. Our box guides are very popular and very but and are not very, um, uh, we, don't, we don't see a lot of competitors using this kind of box ways. Again, to avoid vibrations, to make maximum rigidity and stability. The process is a little bit more complex and more uh, costly to produce, but we see the, the advantages in, in with, with the result of the machine. And mainly, everything in our company is around the milling head. The milling head is, we do have the possibility easily to convert any machine in a simultaneous five axis milling machine or a three plus two as we call. Even if the customer does not need a simultaneous five axis machine, having the advantage of positioning in all angles in the space is giving incredible possibilities and we have constructed around that a whole set of apps that are improving the experience of the customers. Uh, let's, yeah, this head technology is fascinating. Yeah. Talk to us about the 30 degree head and the differences between an orthogonal head and that and where you think your product really stands out. Well, um, orthogonal head and the 30 degrees head are uh, somehow has two things in common. That you can work negative angles that they will not uh, make. Um, the second thing is that you can put the spindle practically in every position that you want. So these are common advantages in orthogonal head and the 30 degrees head, but the particular advantages of our 30 degrees head in, uh, in relationship with the orthogonal head is the ability of uh, splitting the cutting forces into two axes, while in orthogonal head everything is going to the same direction. And the second one is the size, because to reach the same uh, functionality, our size, the size of the 30 degree head that is unique, is much less than the orthogonal head. So this is why a lot of customers love this technology and we are selling like over 50% of our machines with this unique head that was patented by Sire a few years ago. The availability of that head, where it can move and where it can get to is really unique, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's absolutely You can almost unique. position it to the best suit the machining application. Yeah, and the smaller is the machine, surprisingly, the more benefits that you get about this 30 degrees head because you can, uh, you can enlarge the working area in a, in a fantastic way. Um, hardware, we've spoken about. Software, talk to us about these apps that you, um, you know, clearly think are, are great that Zyre offer. Yeah, we have a team of engineers that are continuously working on that. Um, Zyre, I believe, is, is working a lot in maintenance, in easy to use uh, the machines. And around that, we have a team of engineers that are trying every day to improve the apps. If we don't develop new things, we know that we are going to be uh, not in the market in the same successful way as we are. So we have to continue developing things and this is why we have a strong uh, research and devel development department and part of it is the app department, is the, the software development. It's very strong and we, during these days, we will try to show you all these advantages around the apps and about the, how easy we can make that the machine is self calibration and for our customers will be easy to try to put back the machining geometry after a minor incident, for instance. That is quite, quite impressive. And all the apps that I'm sure 
um, your sales representatives can talk in great detail about them. Are they available on every machine or are they options that you have to add or is it a standard now? We have a modular and flexible system. All the heads that we are producing, all the hardware that we are producing, basically all or 90% will be available in, in all our product range. So the same head that can be used in vertical can be used in horizontal ramp. The same, the same apps that can be used in this large machine can be used in the smallest machine that we are producing. And gives, this gives us a fantastic flexibility. Additionally, we, are, we can work with four types of controls, you know, CNCs. Uh, Heineken, we work with Siemens, Mitsubishi, we work with Fanuc. We work with different heads as we were speaking before, different RPM, different sizes. If you want more power, more torque, we have a size. If, we have, if you have more speed, we, can, we have another set. We can add rotary tables. Uh, we can convert our machine in multitasking machine. Being clear that this is a milling machine, but we can do uh, turning, we can do grinding operations in our machines. So, uh, in the end of the day, we can offer to our customers turnkey solutions for their, uh, for their own pieces. Um, last question, new product, the Zero. Why have you introduced it and what is it? Well, we, we, we detect that in this type of bedtime milling machine, that is, as we were saying before, uh, the smaller machine that we are producing, we see that um, what's missing a machine to be in the highest level of accuracy. We were producing uh, good machines, but we had the challenge to make the most accurate machine ever made in this field. Um, the horizontal RAM in respect to the vertical RAM is slightly less accurate. So this is why we are putting all our efforts in trying to get the same level of accuracy in this horizontal RAM that is not has not the benefit of the gravity for the RAM, uh, but we try to make a lot of functions and new developments around this machine in a, in a standard machine and the, the precision package that is available is now a standard for this machine. And most of our customers that are testing that are surprised about the level of accuracy in different temperature levels, in different holes, conditions or even seasons. Perfect for the mold and die sector. Perfect for the mold and others. Yes. Are they the key markets for you, Fernando? This mold is one of our key markets. We have a lot of customers in the mold and die automotive industry making fantastic parts. Um, nowadays, it's very, very important also for us um, the energy, energy in terms of windmills, turbines, generators, um, also aerospace. Uh, uh, we are working a lot with aluminium parts for semicon industry, making the the nicest machines are made with our machines. The nicest machine for producing the chips for the, for the, the smartphones uh, need a very, very high accuracy parts and most of them are made with Sire machines. Mills CNC are the supplier in the UK. Yes. Good partnership. It's a fantastic partnership. We are so happy to find this uh, partnership. We started one year ago, practically one year ago, uh, this, this, in discussions from the beginning and I think that the relationship was friendly and everything seems to be positive with Tony Dale, with Heath Ritman and the rest of the team when we visit uh, their facility which is really impressive and I invite everybody to go there and visit because it's, uh, I was surprised about the quality of, this, of the place and the, the level of training centers and halls and yeah it was, uh, I was sure from the very beginning that it was the corner part and here we are. <laughs>